Welcome everybody to Ferrophobe Campaign 2, Episode 22. There's just too many twos today. My name is Sam Lander. I'll be your GM, and I have some players. My name is Zur, playing Lumi, the Circle of Stars Druid. My name is Valric, playing Elros, the Fighter Marshal guy. Hi, I'm Rita, and one of my... Uh, wow! Never mind. Hi, I'm Suda, playing Risha, the rogue who's now friends with a house. Hi, I'm Sadie. I am playing Zari, the barbarian paladin. I'm Inter. I'm playing Creor, the monk. I'm Ashes, and I'm playing Ibrakeet, the wizard, and wow, 22 episodes already, huh? Uh, I, I know, right? So there was a there was a maze. Uh, the the characters found it uh, frustrating and just brute forced their way th through it and uh, made it to the end of a hallway, which contained a map and a bunch of treasure. But they decided to take only the map when they remembered that the poem told them to own that the treasure uh, would die and they didn't know what that meant. So they decided that a map was safer since they were told that they could take the map. Um. They found that uh, rest in the house was quite restful, and then they worked their way back to town to let everybody know what was going on. Um, discovered that the that the supply run was due back in a couple days, and there were su some surprising guests along with the supply run who were not expected, namely like half of the town guard from their section of town. Um. <clears throat> They decided that was too much to deal with right now <clears throat> because people are frustrated and angry um, about things. And so they decided to finish off the quest to find what was the at the end of the poetry. Uh, so a day's travel into the wilderness, or a little more than a day's travel into the wilderness. Uh, they found a large marble slab which teleported them to the top of a mountain, which is cold and snowy. And inside the mountain, they found uh, a chamber full of somebody sitting on a chair with fire behind them in a incredibly uncomfortably hot room. Um, and seeing this person sitting there, staring as staring at you guys as you enter, you hear <clears throat> in a somewhat gruff, very worn voice. And you see this person get up from their chair and reach down beside them. Did anybody understand that? Loom is looking back and forth between the guys and just and then trying to look at what the person is reaching for. Uh, you see them pluck a either a small guitar or a large thing that looks like a small guitar. Um, large ukulele? Ukulele, there we go. A large and guitar the size of a small guitar. A, a large ukulele the size of a small guitar or a small guitar the size of a large ukulele. Um, anyway, uh, you hear, you hear, uh, them start like playing, plinking, um, just like picking notes. That's the right word. Um, picking notes out of it and a rather beautiful singing voice, um, sings out a couple bars and then she like, coughs heavily uh, uh and sets the uh sets the guitar kind of uh on her like she didn't she didn't set it down she just kind of takes it off of her like playing it um and then she looks at you and goes oh shoot brain uh well well who are you then We are the lights of Miva, hero from heroes from 
the town of Miva. Uh, we uh, followed um, uh, we followed these uh, these clues left by the hero Griffith uh, to find this place, as uh, we are uh, we are seeking uh, knowledge and assistance in our quest. Knowledge and assistance, you say? I think you're a bunch of thieves. I do. And she starts stalking a across the room carefully towards you guys. Uh, like, still holding on to the... You could gar... You, you could garly? Garlaly. There we go. Um, uh, do, do, do Arcana, for those of you who want to identify what spell she cast... If you care, uh, everybody else, what are you doing? Uh, tongues. Uh, I think Lumi will just, in Celestial, say that we're not thieves. We're adventurers. We're trying to mainly get back our town that was evacuated when the temples went boom uh, a whole lot of years ago she stops like stops a little like like 15 feet short of you <sighs> adventurers you say but uh and i'm i can't do her voice because it's supposed to be very gruff and i've tried and i failed um but I've I've traveled with adventures before. Thieves say I, and I would like everybody to make a. What would it be? It would be a intelligence saving throw, please. Wow. So Risha no, Lumi no. We got we got a whole lot of no. If I didn't make it, nobody made it. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna use my inspiration to to try reroll. Yeah. Go for it. Cause... Hey Eberkey. Yeah. So I rolled a three. <laughs> oh. So. All of you, ex with the exception of Eberkeet, start glowing. Um, fairly faintly, because this room is fairly well lit. Um, by the way, she has not moved in such a way that you can see her, her like her face is still shadowed with the backlit behind it. Um, and you're all glowing a kind of pearlescent light color and she like you can see her blink because her eyes are glowing not thieves then that's strange and We're not, she makes uh, another motion with her hands brave too and another motion with her hands and merciful you passed his damn test didn't you test the house the test of the house you you do realize you're being tested right oh Wait, we kind of is a test the the house is a test yes what did you call it her name is laura and she's my new friend i mean the the house isn't really alive Oh. I mean, sort of, but the house is one job. I mean, two jobs, really. So mm. she and she just kind of a a a a slight motion again. Really, not thieves. And every time she does that, like your color changes a little bit. Uh, I say no. We're not thieves. In fact, uh, I think we have. I think we have something to give back to you. Something you're looking for. I'm not looking for anything. I'm just keeping this place in his honor. Uh, Zari 
uh, Zari goes, may I retrieve something from my pack? The, 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 what did I, the, the, the ukulele, the grillele, 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 yes. Uh, makes a couple of plinking sounds and you can tell she's like preparing a spell. Um, she says, if you must. Okay. So Zari takes, takes off her pack, sets it on the ground, digs through it and then pulls out the large, uh, Sibra shard that we, uh, uh, that we got from uh, Vex's place. The very large one. You might not be looking for it now, but we have knowledge to say that you might in the future. And she lifts it out of the bag and sets it on the ground. Um, As you're doing this, I would like you to make a reflex save, please, Zari. Uh, do I see this coming? Yes, because you see a motion from her as she, like, leaps towards you. Uh, with a nine... I was not prepared. You were not prepared, and the... Well, I, I was prepared, but I was in a bad position to react. Yeah, so... Down. so the as as she leaps at you like the hood flops back uh revealing her face and you find yourself grasped by an emaciated hand um her her face is bony um like she hasn't like like not thin like she's underweight, but like somebody who hasn't eaten in three months and is at the edge of at the edge of that being the reason why they no longer wake up in the morning. Um, her, uh, her like from her forehead down to her chin are just white scars vertically. And her hair, like, it was once beautiful red hair. It is scraggly and patchy and unkempt. overly long, un like, completely unkempt. Where did you get that? Do you know what you have? We, we stole it from, we stole it from a, uh, from a fence in town. We know they're called dragon shards. Uh, the person we stole it from said that it came from a drag. Uh, someone had to die to get this, and we and our wizard. Uh, I say, gesturing, uh, gesturing towards Eberkeet, got a vision uh, that of you in the future uh, that you were seeking these items. So. We wanted to find them, collect them, and bring them to you. Um, Zuri, you're currently experiencing something you've probably never experienced in your life, or at least not for a very long time. Um, you're being lifted bodily by your neck. Um, she hasn't like squeezed, but you can feel the fact that your your feet are starting to lift off the ground. Can't. Can we please talk about this? We we <clears throat> came here to return them. Release. Would step you mind back. kindly putting down our barbarian? Release. Step back. Um, but with that dexterity roll, um, she has the the shard. Uh, she is she has taken the shard from you at some point in this whole process. And the guitar, the 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 Grilele is laying on the ground where you were going to set the shard down. Yeah, so Zari has basically fallen on her tuchus and is like uh, rubbing her throat, and it's like, 
we have others uh, to give you. I don't, I don't know why they're in. Uh, I don't know what all they mean, but we know they're in. We, we know they're important to you, and we want and we want to give them back. That's all we came here for. <clears throat> she deep breath, like pained expression is the best you have and from behind you guys you hear uh, a couple of thump sounds um two of the things you thought were pillars as you entered the room uh turn out to be motion mo motive large statue like statue well they're made of metal and made of metal and stone. So statue is probably the right word, but they they step away from the back, like the pillars uh, here at the back of the room. And she goes, uh, "You can give them. You can give what you have to them." She motions. You found him then. You know. You you know what happened to him. Him. My father, the reason that this place exists, Silver Dragon, some people called him Griffin. He called Griffin he... was Gr Griffin was the was the hero uh, of of the town of Neva oh. some fifteen years ago. Oh, oh yes, he really loved playing hero to the people. He was really good at it too. He dis he disappeared when the temple when the when the uh, when the temple uh, when the temple exploded and uh, and uh, the city had to be evacuated. We were left as orphans. He disappeared when the god died. That I know. That I found out. That I figured out. When the god died, he disappeared and the temples were destroyed. You can see it here. And uh, she picks up the Gurlele from the floor and plays a few notes. And the, the wall on this side of the room seems to disappear. And it shows a... Like, shows... As you guys were walking up, you saw, like to the left of to the left of the passageway up near the top there was a flat surface to the to the mountaintop um and you can see that the surface isn't flat it's covered in snow and there is just ruins out here Come on. So he Okay. Uh No, don't don't dude. I was getting anxious for what you have, but uh you said you came here to give it to me so I don't need Russia. Would you like some dinner? You look famished. Ah, uh, you have no idea. After a decade of protecting this place from white dragons, frost hydra, yeti, and any number of other things, the, the, the predators don't come around anymore. And I'm hungry. But that's not why you're here. Well, we came because there are people who are using these these stones. I'm assuming there are they are pieces of your father's soul in order to do very uh, uh, very bad things and are trying to destroy our adopted home and 
and bring uh, bring destruction to the region, and we would like help? Question mark. They also have a backup of a Feyen shapeshifter. A Fey shapeshifter. Yeah, Fey. She like covers back over her her head with her cloak and goes back and sits back on the throne, still holding the 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 Sibirus shard that you gave her. Um, as you, they... Lumi, as you pull it out, one of the one of the two statues comes over and holds out a hand. I will hand the hand the shroud off and and just say to her might want to be careful with that one. I think there's a demon trapped in it. That's that's ironic, I think. Spent his entire life trying to do good and now he's got a demon in his soul. Well, not really soul. It's magical essence, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry, Andrew, you said something and then I've completely missed it. No, no. Basically what uh, Lumi says. Okay. Um, after you guys finish giving over any shards that you, that you offer, um, she, uh, she goes, uh, suppose that, uh, this is a bit much and walks over to a wall and the the anti -cha anti chamber becomes like it just a, just a few minutes becomes noticeably cooler so you're here to give me back my dead father but this isn't this isn't all of him there's not enough here even if you have been using him to do things like contain demons we didn't put the demons in there i you you people like we you. as as a species yes i'm guessing not us as people but us as a species the green one gets it I don't suppose uh don't suppose y'all have names or is it should I just call you Lights Amiva? I am Lumi of the Lights of Miva. I usually the one that takes care of the health and well being of these here fellow travelers. I bow down, so I'm clear. Uh, I am Zari. I am head of the Cooks Guild of Miva and paladin of uh, paladin of of uh, Mother Scorpion. She eyebrows a little bit at Cooks Guild, but let continues on. You in the oh, back? Me? Yeah. I. I. I exist sometimes. I can tell that. Oh, were you looking for a name? Oh, I um, mean, Risha. Yes. This place is big. I'm uh, Elros. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> nice to meet you too. I guess. I suppose. <clears throat> I guess I can I can say my name or those who those who have a, 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 a those who have a a thing to, to a want to call me can call me Anya 
wife of savant or at least lover of savant child of magadha and griffith daughter of the desert and i guess now queen of ice Okay, uh, when, uh, so, when we were in, um, the Thieves' Guild, and, um, Scanlan, uh, uh, held out the book about Brass Dragons, mm -hmm. was I able to pick it up and read it and get anything from it? Um, let's have you do an intelligence check to see if you retain anything from what you may have read. I'm using inspiration on that, please. <laughs> That's better. 16. Um, so, brass dragons are commonly haunt or commonly live in the the desert of the great southern continent um they they tend to be found in like canyons and ravines places that probably once flowed with water but climate has left them barren for generations um and yeah hot hot dry desert is is where you would expect to find a brass dragon not okay. the peak of an icy mountaintop. Yeah, so Zari goes, you're a brass dragon, are you not? Uh, you seem to be a little out of your native habitat. <laughs> she she chuckles, and you can tell that, like, her talking is painful. Like, th it just sounds painful. Well, I, I haven't been home in centuries? Centuries at this point. I followed a group smaller than y'all, but uh, similar, out of my desert. And that's uh, where I met my love 300 years ago? 200 years ago. Don't, don't ask me the time. I, I don't feel like I can go home yet. I have things left undone. And besides... Nobody's looking for me here anymore. People would be looking for me there. Looking for you at home? I... I, uh... angered some people a while ago. They, uh, they chased me for a while, but, uh... Duh, he, 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 he protected me. At least until he died. You mentioned you had un, un, things you still needed to do. Is that something you want or need help with? I mean... What I what I want to do is what I need to do is I don't know. I uh I feel like I have some great fate unfinished. And I thought I thought I knew what it was. I thought I knew how to excise a great corruption from the Burgundy coast, but another group of you know, there's a lot of times in my life where small groups of people such as yourself have stepped in, changed the course of it. Anyway, group of people similar to like yourself dissuaded me from that and because of that I had to flee and I ended up here. So I feel like there is something left for me to do. Maybe it's gather my father's remnants and finally end this place. Oh, you mentioned corruption. Oh boy, there's a oh, there's a thorn in the sign of the city of Haifa. Oh. 
Oh boy. Bunch of cultists. Uh, those are incidentally the ones that put demons in your father's uh, well, essence. Obviously. That 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 tracks got cultists gotta do culty things, I guess. And we had a group of our adventurers, much like this group, that were helping them. We had captured three of them, but uh, it seems the part of the city guard that was on the on our our side of making them see justice was sent on special special. Uh, uh, a mission to to Miva to keep that safe. Hmm. We have reason to believe the city uh, the city authority is infiltrated by the cult, and is one keeping their keeping their fellows out of uh, uh, out of uh, out of the justice system, uh, and um, and. Uh, moving pieces around the board, as one would say, uh, to continue their plans. With the help of somebody from the Fey world, a change, uh, changeling, a shapeshifter. Mm. Shapeshifters are what? hard to track down. Who I have a particular ire with. There are, there are ways to find them out. ways to track them down if you have a good nose for it you can hear like her breathe in and it's there's a whole lot more lung there than just this her relatively small frame could possibly have oh Zara, do you need a fire or food hmm? mm, no I, I I'm we they haven't said anything about Anya has not invited us has not invited us fully in yet so I have not uh, pushed on the offer of making dinner mm. she 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 just kind of chuckles and and kind of sits down back um, about this time the the two um uh, actually do 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 would be arcana to know what these things actually are some of you might be able to guess but uh no Crara, you don't know what they are they're some sort of construct Eberkeet. yeah you you do know these are shield guardians oh dang um yeah, they, 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 they finish gathering up the things and they take it over to this chamber over here. I would invite you for dinner, but uh, my tastes run a little larger than you might be used to. And uh, I doubt you have enough on you to feed me. Considering she... she her, her, like... In, in the hood of the cloak, her mouth opens up and continues to open up and continues to open up. And it's like, it's like, have you ever seen a, 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 a snake eat something that's like twice the size of its head? Think that only with a human jaw. And about a hundred teeth instead of 30. Yeah, about a hundred teeth instead of 30. Give me ten minutes, and I can and I can cook something up. I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. I tell you what. Why don't we? Uh... I tell you what. You're welcome to stay here, explore the place, as long as you don't take anything. And uh, you, young Zari. Feel free to see if you can satiate my hunger. 
I won't, I won't eat you if you don't, but, uh, and there's just this ever so small grin. Could be an option if you really screw up. Um, insight? That'd be an insight check. So, if you guys got higher than a 15, you can tell that she's joking. If you got lower than a 15, you're not sure she's joking. <clears throat> I think I'm scared anyway, so... L Lumi will furrow his brow in, in her direction. Mm. Mm. But I'm all skin and bone. I'm anyway. Well, she didn't say she'd eat you. She said she'd eat me. Oh, yeah. Eat the barbarian. She's a meanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, it's Risa, been... you heard the, the the lady. No taking things. It's been a few years Why since... Why are you telling me this? I'm a good girl. I don't believe you. I... It's been a few years since there's been anything here but death and cold. And um, you guys notice that she's like shivering ever so slightly. Um, <coughs> and yeah, you have you have free run of the place. The cloud bridge doesn't exist, so it's a bit of what's mountain mountaineering. That's the right word. Um, if you want to leave here to get over here, I'll uh, I'll adventure a bit. Okay. I'll find a, a suitable place to to light a fire for uh, for the Zari to. I mean, there are two giant bonfires in the back of the room. So if you want to make another fire, that's fine. But uh, yeah, right. giant bonfires might not be the best to cook on. I'm fair enough. All right, <clears throat> since it doesn't have zero risk, Elros. Um. Mountaineering to get uh, around to the open court section over here would be a DC five uh, uh, strength athletics. athletics check. Yeah, you make it look easy. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna stay back here. No, <laughs> no finger strength. Nope. I'll go with him. Yep, Cryer, you're able to make it as well. Um, you you don't make it look like Elros is like, oh yeah. Um, if you've seen any of Horizon Forbidden West or Zero Dawn, just like throwing himself across and catching catching ledges and pulling up and you know that sort of thing. And you're a lot, a lot more timid than that, but still able to make it. Someday I will learn. Temple from here. How do you get to the temple from here? Um, there, I, you know, I, don't, I haven't actually, this map is weird. I don't actually know how you get to the temple from, from the, uh, from this. Oh, well, I, guess. I, I do know, I do know how you get there. You fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Like, why would yeah. there be a walking path? I forgot to pack my paraglider. <laughs> Um, as you guys get up to the open court, like this, 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 this mountain has obviously been leveled off a bit. <coughs> um, there's a bunch of broken statuary up here. Um, it's buried in snow, so it's really kind of hard to see what it was once, what it once was. Um, and yeah, the, the, the dome of the temple is completely like collapsed in and there's just broken pillars that used to hold it up. And the center of it is just a a deep depression. All right, uh, Ibrakit and Risha, what are you two up to? I'm staying behind in the anti chamber. Anti chamber. Right. Um, how far is that? Is that correct? Yes, it's five feet per square. Okay. I got blown on cold to stay here. 
because apparently I'm not a good girl. <laughs> don't know what I'll be doing in the meantime. I just really don't think I can make that climb. Right. It is it is very intimidating. Like, it is it is not quite a sheer cliff out of the exit here. It, um, as you guys are, like, like probably, Ibrakeet, you're staring over the edge down into the, 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 the yawning chasm below. Um, she's... Well, you're like five foot nothing, aren't you? Uh, five two. Five two. I think. Um, so she is, five two, yeah, like maybe an inch shorter than you. Um, and she comes up behind you, and you, you, you only notice her when she's like right next to you, and says, uh, "When my when my father was alive." There used to be a, a cloud connecting here to there that she could just walk across. It was one of his proudest achievements, but uh, when he died, the magic did too. And now the clouds just pass on below us. Uh, how how long does it take to get back and forth from the open court to the antechamber? Uh, a couple minutes. A couple minutes? Yeah. Uh... I'm going to make my way back over because obviously I can't, you know, tell anything about these statues or anything, but right. kind of fascinated by it. I'm uh, going to make my ba my way back over uh, and uh, say, hey, uh, Ibrakeet, I bet you'd, you'd love that place over there. There's a bunch of statues and things. I, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to tell what's up. Do uh, you want to come on over with us? Is anyone else not gonna try to get over there, or is it just me? Um, I'm I'm in the open court still. Yeah, Zari L and Zar Lumi are Zari cooking. In... Yeah, and Risha is is sulking against the back wall of the yep. of the antechamber. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, thank you. I'll be fine here. With the I rest. I can probably I... give you a, ha a, a hand. Uh... Yeah, Brigitte, if you want to try. Yeah, I was thinking I could just tie a rope off to me and tie a rope onto you and do it old-fashioned. Wait, 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 wait. The big guy's gonna eat the wizard? Oh, this is not exactly really perfectly but... fine without actually going over there. Oh, the, the, this, uh, this I want to see. Yeah, let me know before you try if you end up doing it. Uh, you said your name was Ibrakeet? I never introduced myself. Oh, you didn't introduce yourself. You said your you didn't say your name. I didn't remember uh, that. I, I thought Eberkeet. I thought I I thought I mentioned uh Eberkeet's name or I, did I just say our wizard? I, I think you said our wizard. Okay. Yep. Uh, I better go see how this food is cooking. It smells all right. I'm sure there's not gonna be enough of it though. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> sorry. I would like you to make a cooking check. Um, whatever we decided that was dexterity, I think. Yeah, dexterity. Doop doop doo. Let's see, roll d twenty plus proficiency, which is three. Yep. Twenty. There's no way to add custom skills, is there? Oh, is uh, there? I probably can. I just have. Yeah. It. The yeah, gear wheel underneath the thing. The you bottom. can manage it. Manage skills. Twenty, I think. Uh, D twenty plus five. That seems right. Anya speeds up a little bit. You know what? That that actually smells really good. What are what are you cooking for, Mizari? Probably bugs. And why is that wrong? Nobody said it was wrong. I just don't like eating bugs. Uh huh. That's uh. I think there's a story there. 
you can tell me some other time. Is it nearly done? Uh, I think so. So, uh, so Zarya has been. I don't know exactly how the how the book of edible recipes work. It doesn't say it ever conjures. <coughs> it ever conjures food, unless it's uh, unless you cast create food and water, which I don't have. Right. So you can um, you can create a recipe from the book. You can yeah. eat a page out of the book that tastes like the recipe written on the page. Um. Or there's like three things. Or you can write in it. Um, let yeah. me look up the um. thing. There yeah. it is. Uh, book do 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 do. You can eat the sheet of paper, so it doesn't actually conjure the the, the if you want to do that one. Yeah, and then a more you... complex recipe takes at least 10 minutes to write. Yep. So and then for one day. if I rebind it early and it fails, um, it doesn't it doesn't conjure any. Uh, after one minute, the book's tattered remains transform into a bountiful meal, conjuring the hero's feast. Yep. So, so that's the only so that's the only way it conjures food. But it says a creature that eats from the, uh, uh, eating the delicious sheet of paper provides enough nourishment to sustain a creature for one day. So, well, so here's the thing: I would let you take food that you're currently creating and take paper from the book and. I don't know, use it like a burrito wrapper or some other thing to sneak it as part of food. If you want to. But it'll taste like what the recipe was written on the page. Which we haven't defined, but that's that that just that's something to think about. Yeah. So I don't have a lot of my I don't have a lot of my cooking ingredients because we didn't come here with uh with our wagon. Right. Um so basically I'm just working off what's what's in my mess kit and mm -hmm. what's in my pack, which I can carry a lot in there, but Yeah, you you've got probably well you how many rations do you have? Uh inventory. Ooh. You have your spice pouch. Yep. Um, you have quantity eight, eight sets of rations. So that's a, a, a rations is like salted meat, hard tack, uh, probably some sort of like root vegetable or something that lasts fairly well. Maybe some hard cheese. Yep. Okay. Okay. I I'll guess chip I in some some rations if you need. So basically, I guess, I guess if I make like a stew and then just like put the paper in the stew so it like dissolves into it or something. Sure. Um, you got a twenty on your cooking check, so whatever whatever your plan is, I'm 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 down for it. I didn't really plan on what <laughs> food I was making. I just was like. She looks famished. I need to feed her. Like right. this is my duty as the head cook. <laughs> All right. So 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 she comes back in. You're about done. This is some sort of like hard tack and and salted meat stew. Um, probably I'm 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 gonna say this consumed at least three sets of rations. So if somebody wants to take that off their sheet, um, I'll I'll drop two if you want. And more if you wish, um, but yeah, you can you can put what was the recipe on the sheet that you put in the stew. Um. So <laughs> let's see. I put eight total rashes in in there with uh, mm -hmm. uh, which is two, which is six of mine and two of Lumi's. Okay. 
Um, and um, I think I made um, I made a res a recipe that um, uh, that uh, Noriko uh, taught me a long time ago for a uh, for uh, the um, uh, what's the festival we have in the middle of summer the um uh the star uh the star view festival yeah um and basically it's a uh it's a uh it's a large um it's a large roast um uh slow roasted um uh rotisserie um uh vuji um sure uh that is uh that is a uh, dry rub seasoned and has um and has a large smorgasbord of various side dishes like beans rice curries and sure. such with it okay so 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 she comes back in she sees the the pot. You, this must have been like a big. You you must have had like a a big, uh, or no, you probably found one actually, uh, yep. like, like a big stew pot, you know, big black witch's cauldron type thing. Yep. And she comes back in. Um, this has probably also consumed like all of the water you guys have. And she comes back in and goes. That <sighs> smells surprisingly well. Uh, do you mind if I taste it? I got some water from the snowpack. Fair enough. It takes more than you think it does, but yes, okay. Do you mind? Go ahead. And for you. And she like takes the spoon, like the ladle or whatever you're using out of mm -hmm. the pot and like she goes to lift it, but it's too big. It, like e she isn't strong enough to actually lift the whole thing up. So she she takes this scaldingly hot pot off of the fire without any sort of wince or flinch at the fact that it's you know boil literally boiling hot. Um, she kind of squats down a little bit and starts tipping the 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 thing back, and you don't know where it all goes because it's dragon magic. I don't, I'm not concerned. She's, she's just, she's drinking and eventually she's able to lift like, like wedge the cauldron up and lift it up. And then like after a few, like, like it, it takes a, a literal two minutes of her just like tipping backwards, uh, there's slurping and gurgling sounds. And then there is a loud, hollow bong. And she goes, you know, that was, that was a lot there. More than I expected. Maybe you can keep me fed. And I don't need to eat y'all. Or at least the little one. And she looks over at Risha. Uh, I'm fey touched. I taste gross. I would like you to make a reflex saving throw, please, Risha. Dexterity. So you managed to not be, like, trapped against the wall as she gets up and sniffs heavily and goes... I don't think you understand. The Fey Touch, they taste the best. What is... What is that... Iron, though. What is that... What is that smell? You've been touched by more than Fey. Ugh. Ugh, ugh. What... What have you been dealing with? Sewers. Well, there was a Banderhob uh, 
some Vanderhobs a couple days ago. Oh, yeah, no, the Vanderhob, that makes sense. Oh, oh, yeah. I, 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 I'd suggest taking a bath. You know, please. I don't have a bath here. Hey, as long as I'm not edible. <laughs> <laughs> it's not turning me into soup. Well, I wouldn't turn you into soup. Zari would. <laughs> nah, not nah, nah, uh, uh, too much gristle. Uh, <laughs> it's your fault for feeding me buds. That's not how that works. That's not the point. All right, well, you might as well, if you wish, stay here tonight. I guess if you want to go back tomorrow, you can. This isn't... You, 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 didn't, you didn't find it all, though, did you? There's more of him out there. Yes. But... Uh... Our, our wizard had a, our wizard is a diviner, and uh, she had a vision of the destruction of the city of Haifa, and you were flying over it, uh, ask, uh, asking, uh, asking to give him back. So we wanted to do that for you. All right, well... You're you're welcome to stay here tonight, I suppose. You'll be wanting to go back. I don't suppose I can. Uh... Hmm. No. That'd be too much. What tag along? Well, you did feed me, and uh, that hasn't happened in a while. And, as we all know, dragons are greedy. Well, if you at least join us to the other side of the, the portal teleport thing, there I, I have a sneaking suspicion you could find either some unkegs or bullets around. They're pretty common-ish in those parts of the of of the of the land she kind of she kind of cocks her cocks her head to the sign so so there's a there's a portal you step through to get to where you're going then look not maybe not portal but we we stood on like a big marble platform and we put the map in 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 a receptacle and all of a sudden it was cold so, okay. So, my father didn't tell me all the stuff about this place. All right, well, are you going to go back there today or are you going to stay here tonight? It's like uh, shortly, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon maybe? Yeah, it took us... It took us what two days to get to the, to the portal and about you know, a day and a half. Yeah. Uh. And you've been on this side of the portal for like an hour. Yeah. Might as well start the day and a half on this side. In some warm warmth, so we don't freeze the bejesus out of us. Uh, I don't, I don't really have any beds for you. Uh, and watch out for the chair. We've slept in worse. <laughs> I'm as sure. As long as we're, as as long as we're probably in the in the room with the fires, which i assume you stay in here as well because again you're not in your natural environment and i can it's, see you shivering 
it's uh it's really cold up here and i do not like it dad well, is very dad did he he's the one who uh started those for me though she points at the bonfires well, Lumi will pace back and forth near one of the bonfires, trying to find the optimal place to put down his bedroll. <coughs> um, anywhere near either of them is probably hotter than you want. Um, cause okay, so so this she 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 lowered the the heat in this room. It was probably I, I'm going to use Fahrenheit here because I don't know if Celsius. Uh, oh, at least at least 45 Celsius, uh, 115, 116 Fahrenheit before she turned the heat down. It's now probably 90, 95 in here Fahrenheit, uh, 40-ish C. 35. 35, 35-ish C, yeah. So it's... Which is why Lumi is pacing back and forth trying to find the place to put down... <laughs> his bedroll right oh you know if we had a if we had a uh if we had a scroll of uh of a teleportation circle we could get back to town really quickly you could yeah there is a uh there's a uh there's a circle in the city hall of miva um we don't know who put it there but uh when when the when the city um when the when the temple was destroyed in the city someone locked themselves in city hall and got out using the circle and i think cryor has uh has the the runes for that location yep but i'm not with you guys at the moment well, do you have a, circ uh, a, a, a scroll of teleportation circle? We do not. Unfortunately, we have not been able to acquire one because we have been out of... We have been out of uh, a town with a... Uh, s with a... S uh, s uh, with a spell scribe for a number of weeks now. She nods well. We're rebuilding... We're, we're, we are rebuilding Miva, and Haifa is the closest city with the, those sort of resources. Well, that's unfortunate, then. I would be nice if we had it. Convenient things are convenient. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. So is anybody actively searching this place? I'm at the moment searching the open court and describing every detail, looking at every column. So, <coughs> um, every column has a placard underneath it written in what you now recognize as draconic. Um, I copy it, but I cannot read it. Right. So, um, and the the columns like it, these are these are marble like columns pillars, right? Um, but they are engraved with, or it's, it's, it's like, a, 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 a there's, there's carvings engraved into them. So it's like, uh, uh, um, what's the, what's the word? What's the word? They are, you know, as you walk around it, there's a story that they're telling or a scene that they're setting. Um, but without the ability to read, read them, then is really hard to tell. Um as as you go through each one you find that their skill level differs in a sort of like this is roughly carved out. The figures are not much more than stick figures that sort of thing and you go to this one and the the curves are more smooth and it looks like somebody took more time and as you as you work your way around the open court 
Um, by the time you get back to this one here, um, a highly skilled hand did the did the art on this one. Um, it's still very stylized in in a way that stone work often has to be because of limitations of how strong the stone is and how deep you can cut and all that. But it is somebody with a skilled hand did this one, and this one was done by your opinion says rank amateur is it all the same um how do you call it signature i would say so um is it all can i guess that it's all made by the same person or not give me a art history check no uh give me a insight would probably be the the closest 16. Um, it looks like it was by the same hand, yes. Especially if you, if you like, go to each individual one and look for similarities between them, you can see, <clears throat> like, you know, the same size person using the same size tools. Because as you're working with stone, they're easier to reach parts that you can spend more time focusing on. And there are harder to reach parts where you might be like on a, up on a step stool or something like that, where, where you maybe have more trouble actually doing that. And so maybe you spend a little less time there or, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, is the majestic temple completely collapsed or it is, it is, from what you can see, it is completely flattened. It's it the 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 dome, you know, the dome that you see on on the picture here is 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 caved in. All of the pillars are broken and fallen either out or in. Um, it just kind of looks like rubble covered in snow. Okay, so. No knowledge about that. No, it's too far away to see. Okay. All right. Yeah, Zari, you, uh, you, you don't have any real trouble crossing over to the other side. You did roll a natural one, but she got a plus six, so you can't fail. <laughs> I'll tell sorry about the uh, drawings and stuff and the, the uh, plate with the uh, Dragonborn language on it. Or Draconic. Draconic, yep. I'm just looking out at the surrounding area trying to see, you know, like where this mountain peak might be in relation to in relation to the Badlands. To your west are just more very tall snow-capped mountains like you see you know valleys but it's just jagged think rock you're, you're standing on top of a uh, on top of a mountain in the rocky mountain range sort of thing see you know you see valleys you see mountains but it's jagged peaks and and so on and so forth and it continues to the horizon to the west um, to the east, it drops away from you rapidly enough that it, like, you can see a layer of clouds. Um, and it's like any, any open spots in the clouds are fuzzy and hard to make out, but you don't see mountain ranges towards your north spot. Yeah, east. I think I got the, the correct direction. Yep. So you are on the edge of a very large mountain range. On the eastern edge. At least the eastern edge of the, the height, the tall, like, snow-capped mountains. What are you looking for, sorry? I'm just trying to get bearing a reference uh i know there are a few uh 
uh, no, uh, uh, nomad groups that venture this far out into the Badlands and have some settlements on the edge of the of the Western Mountain Range. And I was seeing if I could. I, I I've been I've been the one uh, growing up. Uh, took six weeks to get out there. It sucked. <laughs> uh, but uh, good training. Uh, and I was just seeing if I could remember any of the points of uh, any if I recognized any of the mountain peaks I'm sure this place is hidden from is probably magically hidden from view from below since well, the clouds will do that yeah uh, that's you... what I mean it's the, cl the clouds are the clouds are magically there to keep it hidden from people below because <laughs> the nomads never talk never talked about a a mountaintop temple clouds are not magic <laughs> no there are spells to control weather that uh some of the some of the mountain clans use them in their uh some of the mountain clans use them in their in their hunt in their uh in their hunting expeditions into the mountains to uh to uh to sneak up on game but yeah, if you want to know where we are maybe lumi can help us <coughs> yeah, the star map might be able to help. I was just trying to get my bearings with the land. I haven't visited the uh uh the the land of the mountain lord in a, in a long time. All right. Um anything else you guys are doing this evening? I'd probably walk up to the edge and just look out at some points uh, after people have gone over, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't it, venture across. It's it's you. You think they're a little crazy because it's a almost sheer cliff face down from the outlet of this hallway. Um, and well, how much of a fall is it? Uh, I don't know, six, eight, d six. It's a lot. Like, don't yeah, fall. I'll just climb down then. <laughs> if someone can get me a rubbing or transcription of the writing on the pillars, I can, I can translate them. Oh, oh I gotcha. I, I, Car I just open no. my notebook. <laughs> yeah, Car has been taking notes. Yeah. I can do that as a ritual. Right. All right. So it's as you guys as you guys are talking and, and doing stuff. Um, you notice that Anya like the comprehension leaves her leaves her eyes as you continue to talk, and uh, she she grunts something in frustration under her breath um and then goes and like kind of cat curls up on the throne and mutters something to herself in a language you none of you now understand um one of the things that you do thinking back now remembering you understood everything that she said Everything that she said was not in Feyen. It was in a different language, and you just somehow understood what she was saying. All right. Um, I share the information about how to yeah. use the tongue spell. Yeah, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty easy pretty easy get that she was able to talk to you with for about an hour. And then was no longer able to. You told me it was that one. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> All right. So comprehend languages on the placards for the pillars. Um, it is. The time that I saved 
name of a town from the great beast time that I saved Miva from the 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 wailing dark time that I saved and as the as the as as you progress around the circle it's definitely becomes progressively more you can tell by the 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 tempo of the language you're translating translating from um it goes from time that i saved town from beast to a passage out of uh gilgamesh is what comes to mind but i don't think that's the right place um the odyssey or the Babylon. iliad um basically at some sort of like dramatic poem and the person who wrote this was very full of themselves and very proud of the fact that they were being so selfless to save all of these places from monsters and beasts like a journal kept over a very long span of time yeah um th give me a investigation just from the rubbings that cryer took Oof. 12 eh, not enough probably to get any more really uh, other than you can see the skill level difference between the original ones and the the I mean, you're assuming most recent ones um you have heard of none of these tales uh the the one tale about Miva was relatively early in the pillar string string um one of the things you do find repeated more than a couple times is is something along the lines of uh see right there glory to far uh, by by the strength of farah i was able to smite uh such and so or glory to farah i was able to bring low the the demon champion of the abyss or that sort of thing that the god that was missing uh yes Farah Farah was a god yep was the god that died 15 years ago yeah was was replaced by Emberthorn and I think we know who wrote these all right so the dragon became a paladin of Phara and when and when the god died and all the paladin and priests died with uh with her them um uh I guess that's when he died as well um the way to die as dragon you guys, as as you're kind of chatting off to the side, I'm assuming everybody's sleeping in the antechamber because the side chambers are kind of small. Um, as you guys are kind of chatting over there, you you hear a you hear a scream, and Anya falls out of the chair. And is like on all fours, kind of that crouch and just like breathing heavily. Are you okay, Anja? Yeah, Zari sort of turns and like starts to approach out of concern. Um,. <coughs> she like flinches 
like recoils like a cat, I guess would be um, up into the chair and then like she like breathing like <sighs> and like slowly calms down and then as best you can read her expression in the dark of the cowl of her hood like looks ashamed and turns the chair around facing or thrown around facing away from you guys facing towards the fire and then curls back up in it and uh if you kind of move so you can see her in the chair or in the in the throne still she's got that like if you see somebody who has is experiencing like intrusive thoughts and are flinching from them that you can see her like every every few moments flinch and try to cover it and then like curl up a little tighter into her her cloak and like ev just like completely curled up in herself no just a nightmare <laughs> Um, wow, with a 28, really, Lumi? Okay, well, well, is there anybody else want to do... Uh, <sighs> that's a maximum roll as well. Anybody else want to break D&D &D dice rolls? I even rolled a 4 on the extra D4. You did. Oh, a 20, yeah. Dirty also, 20, though. Also, I'm planning to summon a uh, companion of a cat send over to Anya and with the order cuddle and purr. <laughs> All right. So those of you who got good insight rolls, um, several things. This was some sort of like, she was asleep. Um, this is like some sort of very strong, terror night 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 terror or nightmare like it was full on i'm gonna rip somebody's throat out with my with my bare by my bare fingers sort of expression um and there is definitely a she does not want to be approached like there's there's a shame there's a she showed you weakness that she hadn't intended on showing um to was that like a, was it like a ptsd flashback or something y you yeah so you got you got high enough that, yeah that sort of thing at the very least okay like like she was she was full on asleep and she when she screamed and fell out of her chair it was it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't, oh, I've fallen out of my bed, I'm asleep. This was more like you hit the ground running because you just escaped with your life from something that was going to kill you, and you have to immediate, like, immediately kill whatever that was back sort of thing. Um, So, you know, beat, heart rate of 150, breathing of hyperventilation eyes completely dilated that sort of expression right um and then yeah shame is the thing so it's like want to be alone in shame um and when you summon your cat and the cat goes over um you can see like you can hear her almost flinch out of her skin as the cat like does the thing where a cat will reach up and paw. And then you see the cat get picked up from, from over the, the arm of the thing. And all, all of you who are in this room hear quiet weeping.
Two hours of purring cat soothing. That's I will I I will softly explain to her. He will disappear in two hours, but enjoy him as long as you want. Um, it's pretty obvious she can't understand a word you're saying and also isn't listening to you as well. All right. Um, anything else for this evening? Zari is still concerned and is uh will probably wake up every few hours and just look over and check on uh check to see how she's doing um the thing that you notice in the middle of the night is that by by midnight she is very obviously cold like shivering cold um and sleeping like sleeping the bonfires are still overly warm and sleeping with the chair <coughs> facing the bonfires and like her cloak is completely completely up like every every square inch of her body is is covered over with the exception of like you know mouth and and she is curled up tightly in in the chair. Uh, so Zari gets up. Um. Uh, gets up and goes and uh, uh, places uh her her uh, her sleeping blanket over her and uh zari wants to go up to the open court uh for about an hour and just sit in the snow uh looking up at the stars okay um since you can't fail i won't make you roll um yeah yeah no problem to get up there um did you let your you'd let your stars druid know that you, where you were going uh nah okay he can uh, find me if he wants to right he needs the exercise anyway so this place is bitterly cold at night like you may not have experienced this cold of a night in your life uh d100 what do we got I should use an actual D100 on the thing rather than rolling it there. All right. D100. 39. It's it's not particularly like it's not terribly windy. It's not it doesn't feel like foul weather. It's just like your breath crystallizes in front of you cold out here. Um the 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 stars oh, are are you don't you feel close to the sky if that makes sense mm -hmm. there's no other light around there's there's only the night sky above you and it extends down further towards the horizon you, than you have ever seen in your life because because the the horizon is you you are above the horizon on at least half of 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 it so yeah the stars the stars um stars fade into the edge of the horizon there is a fairly faint just at the edge of perception uh glow to your southeast East. But it is, it is, you're not sure if it is real or not. Like, it could be real or it could just be your brain going, hey, there should be, there should be some light there. I'm going to put some light there. Mm-hmm. 
And the thing that you notice the most laying out underneath the stars is how hard you have to breathe to, to feel like you get a full breath between the biting cold of the air and the relatively thin atmosphere here. Like you find yourself taking very deep breaths and, and just you like, it's it's almost meditative. Yep, Zari is Zari is enjoying this. It's, um, uh, like I said, uh, she she came out to the the mountain uh, uh, the mountain nomads to to uh, do some of her um, storm herald training, and uh, and. Uh, and uh, so she hasn't had this experience in a in probably about a decade now. Right. Uh, so she's enjoying it, and uh, sh- uh, and uh, she she probably takes the time to uh, she probably takes the time to do a um, uh, to do a prayer um, uh, to uh, to the. Um, uh, to the ancestor spirits and you know the the prime the primal gods while she's up here uh, as a paladin give me a wisdom saving throw please nope that was the wrong one. Oh, i'm not proficient in it anyway but right um you feel a sense of purpose is the best word and yeah you feel a sense of purpose kind of filling back into you um purpose in as much as you don't necessarily know you don't feel like i know what i'm doing next but you do feel like you have you 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 have done the right things and that the path you're on is a noble one accomplishment isn't quite the right term but yeah that's that's part of it I know the path I'm on is 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 the correct one, even though I don't know where it's going. And you, I mean, you do know where you've been. All right. <laughs> Any anybody else doing anything overnight? Um, snoring. Snoring. Fair enough. Um, uh, it's it's uncomfortably warm in this. Lumi will probably spend some time perching on the edge of the gate either before or after Zari most likely after Zari has gone right and and just whole, uh, sitting like cross legged with his shield in his lap cross referencing the star map with the skies and just meditating for a bit uh, give me a what would be a good skill to use uh, survival would be a good skill to use. Fifteen. Um, so you 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 don't know, like you don't know precisely where you are. Um, but you do know that you are. F- further by the positioning of the stars and as you watch and sit there and how they travel across the sky you know that you are some significant distance further north than you would normally be um yeah you you know that you 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 know just by the tracks of the stars like watch them for half an hour or an hour that you're further north than than you are used to during this time of year 
Like, does that make sense? Yeah, I know. Part partly what you're speaking of from re real life. Right. About about this time, uh, Zari, feeling, looking very, f like just edge of frostbitten but feeling very confident comes climbing back up grabs grabs the ledge just in front of your foot and pulls herself up in front of you oh hi hello well this is a f fair bit farther north than we've been before at least me yeah uh while i was up there i th thought i saw a hint of a light uh out to the south uh southeast but i wasn't sure if it was just the darkness playing tricks on me i mean but it's pretty nice up there you're not getting me across that <laughs> that that chasm nope nope i could throw you <laughs> Yes, you could, but no. Okay, fair enough. Hey, you, uh, you done doing your thing? You think maybe uh, you could spot the light from the opening to the antechamber on the other side? Uh, I don't know. If there's maybe, but I mean, getting getting that door open would would probably wake everybody up and make this place pretty cold probably want to want to do that to our guest or to our host yeah probably <sighs> well I'm just cross-referencing the map on my shield uh, adding the a couple of and I haven't seen and I point out a, a small handful of, of stars I haven't seen before because now we're up higher and less light pollution, even though there <laughs> likely isn't very much light pollution in, in town. At the very least, there's way more horizon. Yeah. yeah. And I just point out that I have a few handfuls of clusters of stars that, that, that Lumi hasn't seen before. And starts figuring out how to scratch them on to engrave them onto his shield and star map interesting <sighs> so we head back tomorrow with our dragon friend in tow well if she wants to join uh well, I mean, I think being down on the uh being being down on the uh on the plains would be a lot better than being up up here on this mountain. I'm surprised she's even I'm surprised she's not shivered herself to uh uh shivered herself um shivered her scales off yet. <laughs> well, but but you see when we got her it was warmer. I think she turned on the heat for our sake, so we wouldn't get cooked. I'm still, I'm still saying that she'd be better down on the, you know, desert plains where it's routinely like over a hundred degrees instead of sitting up here on an icy mountain. I'm, I'm, I'm not objecting. I'm just saying that part of her current predicament is kind of self-inflicted, but. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is no place for for her. She looks yep. like she wants it very hot. Yep. Well, I gave her my blanket, so hopefully that'll help a bit. Uh, let's get back to sleep. Yeah, and the final thing Lumi does before he goes back to sleep is give Anya another two hours of kitten time. So there is now a warm purring kitten sitting on top of what looks like just a pile of blankets. Um, somebody else has gotten up in the night, noticed the shivering, and put on their blanket as well. I will let it. I will. I, I will put that open, open question in for the in for the party. 
who did that? Who knows? Uh, my blanket would stink. A mysterious uh, blanket appeared out of nowhere. Indeed. Well, I could have dropped mine off when I went out. So Quite yeah. possible. It's up to you. Yeah, I would have. All right. So the remainder remainder of the night passes. You all, you guys can all take a short rest if you need it. Um, and the the morning starts with uh, the sound of music as um, Anya again casts tongues and can once again, as you guys are waking up and starting to move around, understand what you're saying. Good morning, Grog groggy voice, rubs eyes. I think I was already up early. Right. Because I didn't do anything at the night. Mm-hmm. I behaved myself, I promise. You know, the more you say that, the less people are going to believe you. Yeah, but most people couldn't eat me in a bite. I mean, that's fair. Grin, entirely too many teeth. So, <laughs> so we're heading out today, then. Yes, yeah. uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the marble, uh, uh, the marble, uh, platform is just, uh, a uh, uh, few dozen yards down uh, down the hill from from the entrance. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna gather up my stuff, and I'll join you at the at the door. Is this place going to be safe when you're gone? She looks around and she uh, she snaps a fi snaps her finger. And the throne transforms into a three, uh, it's, it's probably about a six foot tall by eight foot wide by three or four foot deep grinning treasure chest. I'll leave behind a, a defender. There's also the shield guardians. Oh. No, the shield guardians won't work if I'm not around. And oh. I don't... I'll, I'll see if they can come with us, because that would be convenient. But I don't know if inanimate, inanimate creatures can come along on the ride. It's often not how teleportation circle works. Thirteen? You don't know, Cryer. Yeah, only uh, uh, throw. Eberkey, you do know. Um, uh, teleportation circle in general, if I remember correctly, um, takes a willing willing creatures and their possessions along along with them. So. If you are holding it or carrying it or have it in your backpack or, you know, possess it in some way, then it'll come with you. Um, just like objects on the ground, generally speaking, nah. Um, so she goes into the side chambers. Um, can I get a... And closes the door behind her. And can I get a perception check? Also, the the throne is like sharp teeth and sticky tongue leering at all of y'all. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, Zari's too busy packing. Zari's too busy packing up her stuff. So... 
with a 25 and a 30? <laughs> um, it's a 19. That's one from Max. Right. It was a tw- it's DC 20 because she's trying to be quiet. But <coughs> you can... You can hear her having in the side chambers, you can hear her having like she's talking to herself. I don't think I'll need this. I think I should take that. Um, and like chiding herself for something. And then there is a tinkle as the like probably something bumps into the crystals. And she, she, like, you you hear kind of a muffled scream, and then another little tinkle as as whatever it is is caught, and then just like rapid panting breath, and and she's and and like carefully now, carefully, I've got to put these in a safer place. You'll be you'll be fine, Dad. We'll we'll find the rest of you or whatever's left, and I'll bring you back. And then I'll bring the mountain down on top of you, and give you a proper burial. So, with a thirty and a twenty-five, you hear her say that to herself under her breath, in the other room. And then she comes out with a backpack, um, the the uh. Grillaly strapped to her, strapped to the side of the backpack, uh, a full basket hilted rapier at her side. Um, the the basket is like very elaborately crafted out of brass, and you can see iron filigree worked into it. Um, and there's a dagger at her other hip. Um. And she is wearing snowshoes, or she has with her snowshoes. And, uh, um, yeah, a heavy, like, a heavy cloak, like, fur, uh, cloak over top of her other cloak. Um, it's a white fur, and it's lined with scales. What kind of scales? They're white. Uh, d- 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 remember she said she. Remember she said she. Um, uh, she fought off a white dragon trying to take, trying to take this place. So, probably dragon what? scales. Uh, I don't know. They're definitely scales, and the fur is definitely fur. <clears throat> it's white. Um, and she is like twice like not tall but twice as bulky as she was just you know 10 minutes ago all right well i've got about 15 minutes left on the on the tongue spell which i can do <clears throat> times again today if i need to uh, how many sp- times can she cast that she would know uh tongues is third level so she can i can i can do it twice more today if i need to we should get going before I lose the ability to understand what y'all are saying. Uh, on the way, I would make some hand gestures and explain what they mean. Like, hold, or go there, and follow, and are you hungry? <laughs> like that, or that we need to speak. Right. In, in theory, I can keep comp- comprehend languages up indefinitely as long as I have 11 minutes every hour to cast it. Uh, does that let you... That lets you understand spoken language as well? Yes. No. Does it? Yes. But you can't... Uh, Federation, you understand language. the literal meaning of any spoken language you hear. Oh, yeah. So you can understand her. Yeah. But if she doesn't understand Feyan, then she can't understand me with that. Right. All right. Um, so yeah, you can at least comprehend her. So you you let her know that, and she's thanks. That's uh, 
I'll, I'll be s smart and and ask which language she speaks to see if one of us knows a secondary language that 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 intersects. Um, I know she she goes. I know draconic. See my brain, my brain just reset. Draconic. Oh shoot! What was the name of the town that we named in in campaign one off into the west? I I didn't write it down, or I don't have it at that. Um. The on the southern continent, the town in oh. the west. Bring up the world map. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not on any of the world maps here. Anyway, oh. um, she she understands. Draconic, that, Kartukian, Orc, Goblin. I, sh I speak Orc. Ah, okay. So, we we do we do have at least one common language then. Uh, uh, L Lumi speaks Celestial, Druidic, Feyen, and Sylvan. I don't have. I don't. I don't understand any of those. Anybody else have any languages that they can speak other than your home one? Not I can speak violence. Yeah, I, I, you know, judging by the hammer on your back, I can, I can gather that. All right, I well. Common Feyen and Orc. It seems like Orc <coughs> is the language that you, you and she share. So she switches. She switches what she is saying over to Orc Cryor, and while the spell is up, you all can understand her. Um, but once the spell is down, then only you can. Um, but she puts on her snowshoes and makes the trek look relatively easy. Um, she does have the shield guardians, however, like walk in front of you all to kind of knock down the piles of snow. I was about to say, I'll, I'll just follow in Zari's footsteps to 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 get a pre-cleared path. Right. So, uh, question question for DM. Yes. Uh, do we as as Feyans know about Magda? Uh, and I, her being a dragon. I I doubt it, unless okay. you unless you have. I I don't think well, Elros, maybe, um, because you have some history with like trade and and so on and so forth, so maybe Elros, you've heard something, but generally none of none of the rest of you have any like any reason to know that. If it's not written down as such, I don't know. Um. It's relatively old news, but I don't know how often you guys would get news from a continent or half a con the other side of the continent. Yeah. Here, probably almost never. Unless you had a reason for it. Mm hmm So, Elros, I'll let you make a history check if you would like to, to see if you know anything about about that, but I don't think anybody else would. Okay, a history check. Yeah. Uh... Oh. <laughs> no, um, you, you it's never come up. All right, so it is it is a relatively short trek back to the back to the marble. Um, plinth is slab. not the right word. Slab slab is. Yeah. Um. And she she goes so. So where is Miva anyway? I uh, well I guess I guess you can show me when we get there. And uh, at that point the spell ends and only Cryor can understand her and she can only understand Cryor. As as the spell ends, Lumis starts <laughs> explaining the. Right. The directions <laughs> and pointing at the the star map and trying to in, trying to explain in fair, <laughs> assuming she understands w what the stars would look like from Miva. Um, oh, uh, 
Eberkeet, um, you have the map on you, right? Yes. Uh, can you zoom it out and, like, see where we are as in reference to Miva? Uh, I try that. All right. Over map. So you spend a few minutes uh, zooming, zooming, zooming the map out, <coughs> and you find yourself up here near near the or nor northern edge of this map so shift so this mountain peak here is is where you currently are and there is never ending frost to your north and mountain range to your west well that explains why it's so cold mhm mm no, we're not even on the same river. Nope. Well, the source the source for the nearest river is quite yeah, quite a ways away. Yep. All right. But our our river is much much further south. Correct. All right. Um so with a little bit of snow clearing as assisted by some shield shield guardians, um you managed to find the map hole. It still sounds wrong. Um, Recepti receptacle. There, I don't know that that sounds better. <laughs> Orifice. <laughs> That's actively worse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, and place it inside of. Place it inside. Um. And like there's the the same kind of disjunction, and you find yourselves dripping from the now melting snow back on the uh, marble slab that you guys that you guys left originally yes yesterday. Um, and the the uh, map is no longer there. And it's not in Eber Keats hands. And it's not in Eber Keats hands. What? Oh, oh no. That map was useful. Um, Anya to you, Cryo goes, you lost the map. Yes. The map didn't come with us. It did come with us when we got up to the mountain. Do you think it went back to the house? Oh, that's a good point. We can check. I I mean, that would make sense. So it's ready for the next person to, come, to find it. And come have an audience. Um... She obviously was shivering with the cold. It is humid, like almost unbearably hot right now and humid and muggy compared to where you guys just were. Um, and she like Anya, like obviously like pulls the pulls the cloak around herself a little tighter and goes, all right, I guess we're heading back to town then. Indeed. And with a day and a half journeys ahead of you, uh, we will go ahead and leave it there for the day. Thank you to the players for playing. Thank you to everybody for watching. We'll be back again in two weeks to see where this leads. I hope to see you all there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. It's been great having you here. Bye.